This trophy hunter who apparently ended lions and elephants was also ended himself in an execution style. And by the way, this guy probably made like a lot of lot of money with his uh, pro hunt company, whatever it is, right? But not only that, a lot of people don't understand this as well. Like some people may find this extremely offensive of him like hunting these endangered animals. But what a lot of people don't understand is that him hunting these endangered animals or people like him who also like run these businesses that, you know, basically provide this sort of service to like towards people, right? Tend to also put money into conservation efforts for endangered animals as well which seems like pretty like weird right but the money generated by a lot of these excursions by these huntings tend to go back into these actual same animal communities to basically boost the numbers and also improve their conditions etc etc on like a larger scale but let's read it so an avid hunter of endangered animals was shot dead in South Africa after his truck broke down, according to new reports. Rian Nod, the 55-year-old head of Pro Hunt Africa, was found dead next to his vehicle in Markin Road, Limpopo. Cops said they have no motive yet. Two hunting rifles were found in Nod's car near the Kruger National Park Wildlife Reserve, Local outlet Marola Media reported June 9th. The nonprofit Heritage Protection Group said Nod was shot dead by a man who pulled up alongside him when the hunter stopped his car near Moko Payne after it overheated, according to Metro UK. His vehicle overheated and he was shot execution style. Next to the vehicle in Limpopo, the Twitter account exposed trophy killing, said in a post. The group said two men got out of a white Nissan pickup truck and that one shot him, the outlet reported. The man shot him in cold blood at close range, the mirror reported. HPG said the pair snatched one of his guns and fled and a cattle herder heard a gunshot and witnessed a Nissan truck speeding away, according to reports. Cops confirmed that Nod, who frequently shared images of himself with animals that he killed while hunting, was shot dead, reports said. So Police Lieutenant Colonel, I think, Mom Faswa Siabi, said cops found Nod's dead body lying with his face up with blood on his head and face, according to multiple news outlets. So the motive for the attack and the subsequent murder is unknown at this stage, he said. Nod's company, based in northern South Africa, labels itself a hunting and eco safari outfit. We are your African dream, the website boasts, and the business charges us $350 per day to hunt game, $2,500 for crocodile, and $1,500 for a giraffe, according to Pro Hunts Africa's price list. So let's actually go to the uh, website. Pro Hunt Africa. We are your African dream. Pro Hunt Africa is a hunting and eco safari outfit in the far northern part of the South Africa, the only real big five part of Africa. Click here to make a booking. Interesting. Price list. Daily raids, planes, games. Actually, hold on. Let's go to About Us first. Okay, so nothing about the About Us really. So, price list. Daily rates, planes, game. Hunter, $350 per day. Non-hunter, $200 per day. Excluding the 15% VAT on the daily rate. So, the species. Baboon, $250. That's kind of weird. Black wildebeest, 1,000. Blue wildebeest, 1,000. Blessed buck, 350. Bush buck, crocodile, 
Doiker. Let's see. Uh, yeah, so Crocodile seems like the most expensive. Zebra. Interesting. Hyena, spotted. P-O-R. Interesting. Kruger National Park. Taxidermy. Price list. Interesting. Interesting. And the thing is, like, you could obviously tell, like, this company was actually probably making, like, seven figures plus. Like, it would not be surprising if this was, like, an eight-figure company. Like, it would not be surprising at all. So let's go into the comments. My heart sings with sadness that a person could kill such beautiful, uh, beautifully, I guess, beautiful and innocent simply for personal pleasure. A former hunter myself gave it up 35 years ago. I've never had use for trophy hunters. I'm a hunter also, but conser conservationist. Only whitetail, one a year, not trophy hunting. Feed them year-round, especially those hunting illegally on endangered species. Disgusting. Yeah, here's the thing, right? Like, again, people need to understand, right? Like, I personally don't like the idea of, like, trophy hunting. It seems kind of, like, weird to me. But the money generated by these trophy hunts does end up trickling back into a lot of these communities up there and also into, like, the animal communities as well. That's the thing that people also need to understand. There's always, like, a cause and effect to everything. So just keeping that, you know. Like, you got to, like, understand that aspect as well. Sounds like justice was served to me. Yes, poetic justice. Best news of the year so far. Sounds like the definition of karma to me. I hate to say it, but this story made me happy. Me too. And nothing of value was lost. Poetic justice at its finest. Perfect ending to this story. Although I'm a conservative, I'm also a vegetarian and think killing animals for sport is disgusting. Animals wish to live as much as we do, so for people who love to kill animals, one may extrapolate this out and say the person who killed the hunter did it for fun. Does that make all killing fun? Either sport hunting is right for everyone, or it's right for no one. Trying to feel bad about this, but can't. And you shouldn't, this person says. What a good ending to a sad story. He can kill innocent animals no longer. If they catch the men who killed him, I hope they start to go fund me for their legal fees. The road is now a little better without that trophy murderer. I would gladly contribute. Now, here's the thing that like people also need to understand, too. Right? Even animals who are vegetarian, like an elephant, will kill another animal. Like, they will kill other animals. There are some elephants that are extremely cruel that will actually kill for pleasure. Like, there's been documentaries about elephants that have actually done this because they want to do this, right? Also, there's giraffes that go basically bang their heads against one another, basically to, like, either, like, one kind of, like, annoys the other, or basically they end up uh, fighting over a girl because, you know, they want to have babies and they end up basically headbutting each other swinging their massive heads like sledgehammers again documentaries about this as well and basically one of them dies due to their heads being completely crushed like a sledgehammer hit it like this like people need to also understand that right like the animal kingdom is also cruel as well again i personally don't like the idea of trophy hunting at all but also a lot of these animals that they did trophy hunt also kill other animals as well. Hmm. People don't realize how much these hunters spend in the local economy. I would leave the Zimbabweans to starve in their own corruption. He is not a hunter. Hunter kill 
Hunters kill animals to feed themselves and their families. He was an executioner of beautiful animals for no reason other than sensing the throw of death. He is a despicable human being. I feel better about the world today. Happy story of the day. Should have fed him to a lion. Wow, there's a lot of people that do not like this guy at all. You're never supposed to kill an animal for sport as an idol. Proverbs 12.10 The godly care for their animals, but the wicked are always cruel. Now this is also the thing too, right? People have different viewpoints as to what is cruel, right? One might view cruel as dying in nature, whereas another person might view cruel as dying instantaneously from a bullet, right? So, like, people might have, like, different viewpoints as what is cruel. Looks like he became the prey this time. I'm disturbed by the Denver people celebrating this hunter's murder. He was not a poacher. If you have a problem with trophy hunting, petition the governments that sell the trophy permits. But asking leftists to abide by the rule of law is stupid of me, I suppose. See the first line of the story. An avid hunter of endangered animals was shot dead in South Africa after his truck broke down, according to new reports. As a hunter... He knew that some of the animals were endangered as well as paying for permits to kill these animals. He is a poacher. How much money did he get for those elephant tusks? Wow, there is a lot of people that really, really do not like him. Almost every single comment on this thing is people that do not like him. What eugenicists fail to understand is that he was murdered by poachers. He was a legal hunter that kept all the poachers away. Now the reserve will be turned into a desert void of life as the poachers will have free reign to kill everything. And they will. What's the difference between a poacher and a trophy hunter of endangered species? Just asking, will well, other than money and their skin color likely being different? Bum, bum, bum. Like, here's the thing, right? He's definitely not a poacher. Because to do this type of hunting to the specifics based off their website, right? He has to have permits doing that, right? You cannot just basically be so blatantly open about you providing these services to the general public, right? So he's not a poacher. He's definitely a business owner that is providing a service in the form of hunting potentially endangered animals, right? But the thing is, you also got to think about it too. Again, I don't really like the idea of trophy hunting but if he's being allowed to buy these permits to be able to do this hunting the community that is allowing him to do this is probably getting a massive kickback and probably is potentially and I'm just saying potentially providing a massive influx of very needed money to boost the livelihoods of the people that are in that area or in the areas. Or, you know, he could just technically be just, you know, a crazy trophy hunter. You never know. But the thing is, most likely, 
he's doing things by the book. And, yeah, got probably off because people were probably jealous that he was able to do this stuff legally in making probably a lot of money. Again, I'm talking about this is most likely like a seven to eight figure company. With those price points, I'm guessing that he has a massive business in that community as well is probably getting a nice kickback. Now, is everything going to get back to every single person within the community? It's probably not, but either way, it's very like it's a very interesting thing to read because these comments are like very interesting, right? Like, I hope there's a picture with someone smiling and holding up his head. Like, like, I mean, like, this is, like, crazy. Like, like, there's some, like, really dark stuff on this thing. Let's see, is there anything else? Like, like, I mean, there are, like, these are some, like, crazy, some of these crazy comments. It would be appropriate for a taxidermist to cut his guts out and have them mounted and put on display in a zoo? Seriously? Whoa, that is some dark stuff. That's like really dark stuff. Wow. A lot of people, a lot of people do not like this individual. This person says, I have no issue with folks hunting if they eat what they kill. Trophy hunting is a completely different issue, especially endangered animals. I'm sure that wasn't why he was killed, and I feel sorry for his family, but I can't muster Anthony any sympathy for him. So, like, this isn't necessarily, like, a bad comment. Like, this is more of, like, an understandable comment. Right? Like, this is, like, the kind of comments, like, okay, like, I can understand where you're coming from, but, like, a lot of these things are, like, super, super, super dark. Like, super dark. Wow. Well, either way, if you want to learn how to uh, get out of debt and master your money, go to 40 com. Feel free to give your thoughts, your personal thoughts on this, good or bad. Do you like what this guy did? Do you not like what this guy did? Feel free to give your thoughts, you know? Because it's up to you. Your personal thoughts is your thoughts.